Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. With the help of Facing Hunger Food Bank, multiple partners gathered at the Southern West Virginia Community College in Williamson to distribute food to those in need. Tuesday, we spoke with Facing Hunger Food Bank CEO Cindy Kirkhart about the importance behind the event. Ingo County, in particular, has a 20% adult food insecurity rate, but more concerning is an almost 30% child food insecurity rate. Um, there are some challenging health indicators for the folks that live here, diabetes, you know, hypertension, all those things that make their quality of life a challenge. With so many grand families that are raising grandchildren and great-grandchildren, those kids are learning the eating habits of those people that they're living with, their family members. So, you know, we're offering healthy food initiatives where that we'll have medically indicated food boxes to help support good self-management of their diabetes and other issues. And then hopefully we're going to get to education and modeling so that the children are, re you know, raised with better eating habits. So it's really just all of us taking part to ensure that everyone has the best quality of life they can. With around 800 pounds of food hitting Williamson families, Southern West Virginia President Pamela Alderman hopes to use the platform to push Williamson into the future. Oh, I see this expanding the future, not only for new jobs, new opportunities for people here in Southern West Virginia and Mingo County and Williamson, but also in exploring ways of being able to grow your own food and working with folks on what it takes to uh, be able to become secure in not only of being able to receive the food, but maybe being able to grow food. You know, we used to have farmers here in Southern West Virginia all the time, and it just seems to have gone by the wayside. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.